today's video is another makeup tutorial. I'm on like makeup tutorial. I'm on a makeup tutorial roll. It is on this look right here. I haven't used Makeup Geek products in a while, so I decided to just bust out my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. So that, yeah, Makeup Geek. I can't find the words today. All the eyeshadows on my eyes are Makeup Geek is what I was trying to say. It's like an icy green with a really intense lower lash line. I know a lot of people don't really like lower lash, like a super intense lower lash line, but I think it's so like captivating. I love super smoky lower lash line. So that's why I kept the top really simple, no liner, like just like two eyeshadows pretty much, and then I focused the drama on the bottom. So yes. My hair is a mess and so is the lighting. The lighting in this video is like really off I feel because I'm filming really late at night which I usually film during the day so I don't have any sunlight at all in my room right now so I'm sorry that the lighting kind of sucks. Anyway, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So for primer, I am using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I use this all the time. It masks the veins on my eyelids and I really like that. This eyeshadow is from Makeup Geek. All the eyeshadows are from Makeup Geek. This one is called Baby Face and I'm just using this to set the, <laughs> excuse my singing. I'm just using that to set down the paint pot. Now I'm taking high tea. I love this eyeshadow. I highly recommend it. It's a nice like olive green, but it's really pigmented. It's really amazing. I don't know. I really, really love it. So I'm taking one of her foiled eyeshadows and look at that. Look at that foiledness. It's amazing. By the way, I'm recording this voiceover really, 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 really late in the middle of the night. So my voice is like cracking. Anyway, this foil eyeshadow is called Charmed. And I started putting it on with an eyeshadow. I mean, with a brush. And then I just finished putting it on with my finger. I'm going right back into high tea just to blend everything out. And then I'm going to take Ice Queen. And this is going to be my brow bone highlight. I like it because it's not a flat white color. It has like a sheen to it. Okay, so this is a brand new product I just got. It's the Marc Jacobs. It looks like a pill. That's why I was uh, doing that. It's the Marc Jacobs Undercover Coconut Primer. I got it just because um, it said it had coconut in it and I feel like I put on a little bit too much. This is the first time I used it. And it smells faintly of coconuts, not too much, but it is really hydrating. It basically feels like a super intense moisturizer. I don't know if it's as good as the Too Faced one just yet. And here I am looking for a brush to put on my foundation. But yeah, let's move on. I'm going to mix these two foundations. This is the Too Faced Born This Way and the... L'Oreal True Match Lumi. True Match Lumi? Yes. The True Match Lumi. Okay. <laughs> it's really late, guys. I love mixing the two because the Too Faced one just gives you a flawless finish. But adding the L'Oreal one makes it a little bit dewier. So I noticed that it didn't really match my neck much. I'm not as tan as I usually am. So it didn't match my neck. So I'm like trying to drag it down. And I'm like, hmm. Uh, yeah. The color, it's a little off, so I'm just going to add a lot more concealer than usual to try to blend everything out. I'm using the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. I can't stop using this. I wasn't a big fan of it at first, and now it's like one of my favorites. I cannot stop using it. So I'm just applying this all over my face like I usually do, just adding probably a little bit more than usual. And with my Sedona Lace 217, I am blending all that out. I'm going to set all of the concealer with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 135 Creamy Natural. This is a Real Techniques contour brush, by the way. And I'm just using that to set everything. Okay, so I'm going to finish off my eyes. And this part makes me cringe because you guys know I hate tugging at my eyes. And I never really do, but for some reason I did tonight. This is the um, Milani Shadow Eyes chubby stick eyeliner thing in black and then I'm just smudging that out with like a little eco tools brush I'm gonna work on smoking out that lower lash line this is dirty martini it's such a nice deep green I'm applying that right on top of the eyeliner 
And I put the black base so that it can look like a super, super dark green. So yes, I'm just blending that out with a Morphe pencil brush. Then I'm gonna go into high tea, this beautiful like gray olive color, and putting that right on top, and then I'm just blending everything out. For my inner corner highlight, I'm using Shima Shima on a pencil brush. And then I want my lower lashes to be like very volumizing. So I'm using the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara because I feel like it gives my lower lashes a lot of volume. And then for my top lashes, I just threw on some L'Oreal Telescopic and that completes my eye look. A lot of people complain that I don't wear falsies enough, but I just don't wear them all the time. It's not very practical for me. I don't know. I just don't wear it a lot. Uh, wear them a lot. But anyway, I'm just warming up my skin before I go ahead and contour using the NYC Sun and Bronze in Montauk Bronze. And then I'm going to contour my face. This is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium, and I'm contouring with a Morphe M510 brush. I love this brush to contour with because it doesn't give you like a super harsh, you know, Nars Eda brush kind of contour. It's a little bit fluffier. For blush, I am using um, Makeup Geek Spellbound, and I'm using the same brush I used to bronze my face with, and that is the Real Techniques Multitask brush. For the highlights, I am using the Betty, no, the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. This is the Morphe M501 brush, if you were wondering. So yes, I'm just highlighting, you know, like I usually do. And then to finish off this look, I'm adding my lipstick. I wanted something very, very, very pale nude, but you can do whatever you want. This is Cairo. It is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And I'm just applying that to my lips. As you can see, it's very, very light, super pale. You can put like a lip gloss on top or use an eyeliner, an eyeliner, a lip liner under instead. Anyway, that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.